Hi guys, it is Drew here and welcome back to Lone Fox. Today's video is a fun one. I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'm actually finally getting to transforming my bathroom in my new apartment. Not really that new because I've been living here for about six months now, but I've always just kind of put off doing my bathroom. I kind of focus on doing my room first and my room really isn't even done. Like there's so many things I want to do to it, but I've just been creating so many DIY projects and redoing other people's places. Like what am I doing? Why don't I do my own first? I took today, I went shopping, I kind of drafted up a new plan. I got some Pinterest inspo. I redid my bathroom and my bathroom is kind of cool because it has sort of like a vanity area Which is like the first main entryway point to the bathroom and then there's the actual bathroom that has a shower and the toilet in it So um, it's kind of two different sections that I'm redoing today And I think you guys are really really going to like it everything I feature in the video including the decor pieces um, I'm using some marble contact paper any of the uh, DIY projects that I'm doing whatever it might be I'm going to be linking everything in the description box below so you guys can take a look and while you're watching the video Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel i post brand new diy and home decor content every single week here on lone fox and i also want to mention guys today is the last day to vote for lone fox for the shorty awards i was nominated for a shorty award lone fox home was under the house and home category and today is the last day to vote and i cannot believe it i have no idea if we're gonna win i really don't know we're against marie kondo like friggin marie kondo but we can always try so let's put in all of our effort today and vote for me on the shorty awards website and after you vote for it you can actually share it on twitter and on facebook each time you share it you get an additional vote so make sure to share them as well i'm going to be personally going through and refollowing some of you guys on twitter today that do repost the vote that you guys do and let's just see if maybe we can win this that would be so insane like just to be nominated for a short award is like an honor already. So we'll see if we can win. Anyways, guys, I'm redoing my bathroom today. I'm so excited and let's just jump into it. I want to give you guys a before of my bathroom area. So as you can see, my room is over here. Everything is so messy. Like, please disregard that. It has a lot going on. Like, I'm being very candid with you guys. This is what it looks like all the time. I just have all my products out because I need more storage. Um, I know there's under storage here, but I just have so many things that I just need more space, basically. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this bathroom is, of course, maximize storage space towel rack here there is a cabinet here with again more products in it this is kind of the catastrophe of the bathroom i started installing this wallpaper the day that i moved in i literally was so excited to install wallpaper when i moved in i got it i put it up there i bought three rolls of it thought it would fill the whole entire bathroom area it filled this much of it and then it was out of stock i had no more of it so it's just been up here for probably six months now and i really did like it like i thought it would be really cool if it was like completely encapsulated and kind of looks like one of those hotel bathrooms if you know what i'm talking about so that is going to be the first thing coming down i'm going to recover the countertops with a beautiful marble contact paper that I found. Over to the left side here is the actual bathroom. So this is kind of like the vanity area, I guess you can say. This is a bathroom. If you're wondering why my bath looks so bad right now, I did a lush bath bomb last night. It was the black one. It literally like stained my bathtub. I don't even know. I apparently have a Starbucks in here too. Um, That's just the life of me. Another Starbucks in the trash can. So step one in this bathroom is going to be to cover the counters with contact paper. And this is the contact paper that I'm going to be using. It's from Amazon. I will put a pop-up of it on the screen right now and also put it in the description box below for you guys to take a look at. But instead of it being like a cool toned gray marble, it kind of has like some warm toned golds in it, which I think is gonna be really, really nice. I'm so scared about this rust that was caused by my soap dispenser. Oh my gosh, I still don't subscribe, please, I'm sorry. bubbles that will not move like these are two in the center of the whole thing like there's one here too do the tiniest little prick in it with your exacto knife like it's literally microscopic um and you can actually reduce the air bubble like that by just pushing out the air from that little prick hole See? and now it's literally completely gone Spirit. 
This contact paper was actually a lot trickier to work with than a traditional one because there was a lot of sparseness, like there were some areas with a ton of marbling and then some areas with not a lot. So it kind of created for a very noticeable seam when you were to like match up your contact paper, which I'm not gonna worry about too much just because I am gonna be putting down my decorations and my soap dispensers and stuff just to kind of mask those seams. is completely done and it looks so good you guys i absolutely love it i think the marble color is so pretty and i think it totally transformed this makes it look so much more luxurious for sure there are some spots of course where you can definitely tell the seam lines like right here because this marble is a little hard to match up but overall i think it turned out really amazing i picked up this picture ledge shelf from target it's 23 inches which would fit perfectly on this wall right here so i actually want to put this right up here and basically a picture ledge is kind of what it shows in this little example here it's supposed to hold small things or frames whatever you want to do so they kind of lean against the wall but I'm gonna use it to hold a couple of skincare products The shelf did exactly what I wanted it to do, you guys. Like, it holds skincare perfectly. So if you need more skincare storage in your bathroom, this is literally only, like, maybe four inches wide. Not too wide at all. And it holds a good amount. So um, these are all my products that I use almost daily. Like, So I'm keeping these here. Easy access and easy reach. And I think that they all look super pretty together. I love all of the typographic elements, too. I think it adds to the bathroom for sure. My hair is starting to get a little bit crazy, guys. But um, I hung the shelf up. I want to quickly share with you guys a couple of the items I got from Target yesterday and a couple new pieces from anthropology as well that I'm going to be using to sort of decorate the space. First up are a couple pieces from Anthro. I got this good morning little soap holder that I'm actually going to use as a sign and this little matching scoop du jour little thing that I'm going to use for cotton balls. And then heading into Target items, I got this little basket that I'm going to put on the back of my toilet. I got new towels. I got these chevron ones, large size and hand towels as well. A picture frame that I just want to hang up in my bathroom as well. And then a bath mat because I haven't had one since I moved in for some reason. And then just a couple of face um, little washcloths that I wanted, a new toothbrush holder, and then some knobs for the cabinets because I wanted new ones, and lastly, a jar for my bath salts. I thought I would share with you guys under the sink to see how I organize my under the sink area because I know a lot of people don't show this area but I might as well because it's organized and I think it can help you guys. So what I do is I have a large basket here. This basket is full of products that brands have sent me that I haven't tried yet but I want to try. If there are products that I get that I just don't want to even try at all, I typically will give them to a friend, to my parents, my brothers, or I'll donate them in general. This is all my medicine, um, just lots of stuff in there. And then right in here, this is all of my products that I have just like extras of like the daily ones that I love to use a lot so it's on this little rolling basket which I actually really like I think it's kind of fun you can like roll it in and out so these are just things that I use all the time like whey products extra ones that they've sent me glam glow masks honey masks things that I have and that I use all the time extras tanners and things like that so those are just products that I already know I love that um, I just have extras of. And then right over here, just some extra toilet paper and my Cara vitamins that I take every single day. I, mean, I know you're not supposed to keep toilet paper under the sink, but you know what? When you have a small apartment, you have to do what you gotta do. But I'm really pleased with how these little knobs turned out. I think they look amazing.
I definitely want to add this frame in my bathroom area where the toilet is and so what I thought I would do is take a piece from the Teza collage kit which you guys all know I love this kit so much this is the coastal kit I thought I would look through these images and find one that I could pop in there because that just seemed the easiest um, way to do it something that will match the vibe the theme so it's kind of between these three this one has this guy on it um, this one's cool it's like a newspaper with a bag and then this flower print so I don't really know which one. I think I'm gonna actually eliminate this one. Just the guy, because I think that would be really cool. Just like super small inside of the frame. And guys, that was my bathroom transformation. I absolutely love it, but there is, if I didn't live in an apartment, it would be amazing because I would love to change the actual cabinet colors. I do not like that kind of off-white color. It does not match the best with that marble, and I kind of realized it after I put it on there. It's not the worst. It's not the end of the world. I think it looks better than the gray top originally, but I would love to be able to paint the actual cabinet. I'm renting this apartment, so I can't really do that, sadly. So I have to leave it as is. Um, that way I can just pull off the contact paper when I leave. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. I love it. I think it's so much better. I also absolutely love the little picture lead shelf that I created that works perfectly for my skincare I'm so happy it's there I get so much more additional storage without taking up too much space at all I feel like I've just been speaking so quickly because I'm very very excited with how it turned out and don't forget to vote for Lone Fox Home for a shorty award again the link is in the description box below for you guys to take a look at and I think that's about all for today I hope you enjoyed the bathroom transformation and don't forget to subscribe to Lone Fox Home for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week and you can follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram it's Lone Fox Home for your daily dose of DIY and I think that is all. I said that like 19 times. I'm just gonna let you guys go. I'm sorry. You have to deal with me talking so much. <laughs> I'll catch you next one. Bye, guys.